In the era of the samurai, there was a small village shadowed by the looming presence of Mount Fuji, where lived a samurai named Takeshi. Takeshi was not just any samurai, he was a ronin, a masterless samurai, who had lost his lord in the turmoil of the Sengoku period, a time when Japan was rife with conflict and the air was thick with the thirst for power and territory. Despite his masterless status, Takeshi was a man of unwavering principles and unmatched skill with the katana. He lived a solitary life on the outskirts of the village, dedicating himself to the way of the sword and the ancient codes of Bushido, honor, courage, and loyalty. The village, although peaceful, was not untouched by the chaos that gripped Japan. Rumors began to spread of a warlord, Kazuo, who sought to claim the land around Mount Fuji, including the village, for his own. Kazuo was a ruthless leader, feared by many, whose ambition knew no bounds. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of crimson and gold, a messenger from Kazuo arrived at the village. He demanded the villagers swear fealty to Kazuo or face destruction. The villagers, simple farmers and craftsmen, were not warriors. Fear gripped their hearts as the shadow of war loomed over them. Takeshi, upon hearing of Kazuo's threat, felt a stir in his spirit. He could not stand by and watch as the innocent suffered. That night, under the blanket of stars, he knelt before the shrine of his ancestors and prayed for guidance. The next day, as the first light of dawn broke over Mount Fuji, Takeshi donned his armor, a relic from the days when he served his lord. He took up his katana, its blade gleaming in the morning light, and made his way to the village center. There, he addressed the villagers, his voice steady and calm. Fear not, he said. I shall go to Kazuo and challenge him to a duel. If I win, he will vow to leave this village and its people in peace. If I fail, know that I have given my life to protect what is precious to us all. The villagers pleaded with Takeshi, fearing for his life, but his decision was made. He traveled to Kazuo's stronghold, a journey that took him through mist-covered forests and rugged terrain, until he stood at the gates of Kazuo's fortress. Kazuo, amused by the audacity of the Ronin, accepted the challenge. The duel was fierce, a dance of steel and skill, watched by the warlord's men and the spirits of the ancestors. Takeshi fought with the strength of ten men, his blade swift and true. In the end, it was Kazuo who fell, defeated by a masterless samurai who fought not for power, but for the protection of the innocent. Takeshi returned to the village a hero, his deed becoming legend. He continued to live by the way of the samurai, guarding the village that had become his home, a beacon of hope in an era marked by war and strife. And so, the legend of Takeshi, the ronin of Mount Fuji, lived on, a story of courage, honor, and the unwavering pursuit of justice.